Well, what a better way to start out this beautiful morning on NSG by committing some crime. Oh, I thought I was swimming. By committing some crime. I'm gonna go up to- Hey, Gillo. I'm gonna go up to Klanik's base, and we're gonna do some crime. Let, let's go up there. <laughs> oh, I'm drowning. And this is the crime. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking his enchant set up. Now, I am doing this out of the kindness of the server, you know? We're looking out for everyone. Oh, I was scared I couldn't break that with iron. We're looking out for everyone here on NSG because we're going to bring it over to the, the, the mob farm that we showed off in the last episode. Because I'm getting tired of having to get 30 levels. Yoink. Can I kill him? Yoink. You just don't care that your buddy died? How about now? You just don't care. Can I? Ooh, oh, look at that! I'm a sharp shooter. I'm a sharp shooter. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I gotta stop recording these when I'm dead tired. But either way, we're moving it over there for the goodness of the server because you know uh, people need to enchant, and I <laughs> I just don't want to walk anymore. Okay, I'm lazy. I need to get an en enchantment, not an enchantment. I'm stealing someone else's. I need to get an end. Ender portal portal I need a nether portal in this episode and we need to start planning the base the hub and everything in between I'm so excited I'm actually just so pumped for this season of NSG you guys have no idea <gasps> go away what we have in store honestly honest to god you guys have no idea uh oh that was your Facebook not mine oh my god I just got friggin triple shot by that skeleton did you see that now they're killing each other but this guy's just watching. <laughs> Buddy just sh stops. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> you guys kill each other. Have fun with that. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, it's a wild piece of art. Well, now that our crime spree is completely removed from our system, you know, everything's been stolen. I did a little bit of enchanting and got a few little uh, diamond work picks. Now, I've been trying to plan out a little section of the base. Now, the idea of the base, like I said, I'll tell you a little bit in episode two, is we're going to do a bunch of custom uh, terrain here. We're going to build it all up and have custom cliffs, and there's also going to be a pathway leading to something on the island. Once we get to it, we'll talk about it then. But... Uh, that being said, I want to build it all out of stone and then add details after, and I'm realizing when you mine, you get so many more materials. It's really not, it's really not that optimal, if I'm being honest with you. So, what we're going to do on top of the island uh, for the beginning of this episode, as my doggo barks away, we're actually going to build a little stone generator, because it, I feel like it's going to be wildly important, so... Yeah, let me let me crack away at that. It it takes five seconds. Stone generators are super easy, but uh, let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, so the farm I guess is kind of achieved, <laughs> and I did a little more terraforming work. Now it's just a rough structure, and doing real terraforming work without an elytra is really difficult. But this is one area that I needed to at least start and then add something to it. Like it had to be. Uh, the beginning had to be there. Let's say that. So, if we come up here, right? If we come up here, I'll show you the farm. I know it's nothing special. It's, I mean, all it is is a deep slate brick with a door. <laughs> and all you do is mine it. It's nothing special, but it gave me enough stone to at least get this ready. Now, there are a few things that I've wanted to try uh, when it comes to using, normally when I terraform, like that looks really good to me, right? I, I do like the look of how that came out, but I want to try and do a little bit more and add a bit more to it. Now I want this, uh, this valley right here, obviously we said we're doing hills all the way around. I want this uh, cliffside to look almost broken and to look, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and just add a few kind of cuts and indent them with deep slates. So let me see how it looks when I actually pull this off because I am i don't know, I genuinely don't know how this is going to work and I need to use cobblestone so I know to remove it after. Um, Okay, let me let me get up here. And actually we could probably test this on camera. Let's start here, right? Like this. Which means we're gonna indent 
Is Deep Slate directional? You've got to be kidding me. Deep Slate's directional. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. I didn't know that. I didn't mean to click that either. So now what we're going to do, I wanted it indented and not indented at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. Let me work away. This is something I'm going to probably struggle with. So give me a minute to add in. Oh, wow. I hate deep slate. Is cobblestone deep slate that way? Because it's so similar of a block. I think I might go cobblestone. Let me work on this. Okay, th this is so small, but hey, boy, <sighs> you didn't. You didn't. No, you didn't. But the concept will work. So we can come through and redo this at some point, you know? Well, I mean, we're going to, but I need to kick off on the next part of this because the next part is wildly important to the actual build. So... I'm gonna kick off with it. I'm gonna get going. Let, let's let's see what I can do. So a lot has actually changed. And you're gonna die. <laughs> a lot has actually changed since the last time I've done a recording here on NSG. Uh, I okay, okay, okay. This clip is actually seeing YouTube. I've re-recorded this clip probably 15 or 20 times. I got a new mixer and. I'm, I'm learning here, right, with mixers, and I'm learning with microphone stuff. For some reason, if I use a dynamic mic, it makes a weird noise on my keyboard, and it makes like a... I, I, I don't like it. It could just be that I'm using cheap dynamics, but I feel like they shouldn't happen. I feel like it shouldn't be a thing constantly. Uh, so I ended up buying a new mixer to run my MK4, and I ended up buying the uh, Mackie Pro FX 10 V3. It has a mute button, it has a compressor, and I'm trying to get everything down, but there's so much noise that this mic likes to pick up, it's been driving me nuts. It's been absolutely driving me nuts, and I, I think I'm just gonna have to live with it. There you go. There's my rant. There's my microphone rant done, okay? I'm done. Microphone rant over. Now, what have I actually been working on here on NSG? Well, it's actually kind of dramatic. It is in Skull. I love it. I absolutely love this. Now, the thing is, I, I built it. It was actually a tutorial online that I, I made some modifications to, and it fits the area perfectly. And I absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong. It is beautiful. Everything about it is pretty much beautiful. I'm really... <laughs> I'm really happy with how it turned out, but if we come down here, you know, there's a secret. There's a secret to the skull. There's a very, very important secret to the skull. If we go, oh, my voice. <clears throat> if we go under the skull, you can see this cool little cave that links up to an area that, you know, doesn't look like I'm not a huge fan of this, the way the button is. I'm gonna probably work with that, but you guessed it, it's a villager trading hall. Now, let's run through how this bad boy works so I can continue on with the build and maybe end today's episode. Honestly, I've been struggling to record this with the new mixer and having background noise and everything. I think I just need to learn to live with it. I think I really just have to learn to live with it. Yeah, just learn to live with it, me. Come on, you're being too picky at this point. You want a totally isolated, soundproof room in a living room with a refrigerator and our new furnace? Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on our new furnace. It is like a plane engine. It has been driving me crazy, even not recording. So hopefully so everything sounds okay. Hopefully everything lines up and we're right where we want to be. But let's do an example. Now, don't even begin. Don't even ask me. Don't even begin to try to think I know the theory behind this. So we got a minecart rail going into the bottom of the glass, right? This is a tutorial online as well. It's kind of everywhere. Uh, and then it comes out the top of the glass and then in. And for some reason, without fail, this system grabs a villager every single time so this villager will actually end up in this trading in this conversion hall and this is something that all my villager trading halls have lacked over the years is a decent way to convert from zombie to villager back to zombie or from villager to zombie back to villager and that's something we've actually completed here with this guy so basically what we would do is throw down a workstation right here right we throw down a workstation right here and then we just shut the door and we hit the lever. When we hit the lever, Buddy here, you know, has a bad time. <laughs> and then we drop him back down, and we can weakness him or and then apple him. And then when he when he's done sitting there, 
We're not gonna give the example to this guy. Come on over. No, you can't get to me. How unfortunate. Give me that head. I want that head. Give me the head. Give me the head. Thank you. Now, if the the theory, to be honest, I don't know how much of up here I've finished. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. It's kind of half done. Eh, it should still work. <laughs> should still work the way it's supposed to. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, let's give it a try. So we send... Did I send the minecart back in? We send a villager up. See how he flings by, ends up here. So he's been converted. We hit the button. Now we should get a minecart at the end. Did you hear him get kicked out? He gets kicked out and he's currently standing right here. Now, the system we're going to have to actually add to this and it's a little... Oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? Hey. Um, we can make it so they don't have to rely on pathfinding to get down here. Uh, it, it's up to us if we want to do it. Right now, the system's set up to not allow another villager into here, so everything's okay. Yeah, I know, you guys don't have trades. You guys, unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, hold on, I need to, I need to do something. We're gonna line up with the torch. We're gonna look right here, right? Right about, right about there. And then, what, wait, wait, wait a second. What happened to the villager? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing happened. They must have lagged and despawned. I don't know. Villagers are weird. I have never tried to understand villagers. But um, if you guys haven't figured it out already, we'll go through this real fast, real quick, and then we're going to end off today's episode because I just got to get it out. I got to record this and get it out and actually do this. It's been driving me nuts, honestly. Hopefully everything sounds okay. I'm just pushing through. This is happening now. Um, but basically... Uh, we're gonna do a big pirate theme in the area. So now next episode uh, We're gonna break it up into about two different things There's gonna be two different things that we work on in the next episode and it's gonna be the finishing the skull And there's also gonna be something that I want to work on right here because we're two weeks in NSG We have the end fight coming up soon, and I am Nowhere prepared to where I feel like this head is not as big. What the heck? The unemployed villagers head? I feel like it's shorter <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to do a cool pirate themed in the area. So next episode, we'll be finishing the trading hall, or at least getting it functional and usable. And then the next episode after that is going to be working on something right around here, I think. So I think... I think that's the plan. But anyway, guys, I know this episode's been a little weird, and I've recorded it, and uh, honestly, I recorded it with two different, three different mixers. There was another mixer that I tried out that might not have actually made it in this episode, but there was another one that I tried out and didn't like it. And now we're on to this big old monster of a mixer. So hopefully everything works out in my favor. I'm still, you know, I'm an audio guy and I like doing this stuff and just screwing around with audio gear. So maybe next episode we'll be doing something different. Maybe I'll be using something different. To be fully honest with you, I'm going to try to sell my GoXLR because it's just not doing it anymore. It is just not, <laughs> not what I want to use. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode here on the Never Stop Gaming Survival Server. Finally, absolutely finally, can we finish off this episode. You have no idea how long I've been recording this for. It's been brutal. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. My voice is hesitating. If you guys want to check out the other NSG members, be sure to do so in the description. Or if you want to join the NSG Discord, I highly encourage you to do that because it will actually uh, tell you when the other members upload, when you choose that. It's really cool the way we have it set up. So go ahead, join the NSG Discord, join the community, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Unemployed Villager is out.